Well, parents across central New York are making the tough decision this week. Keep my kids home or should I opt for the hybrid plan that's now being offered? But parents in the Auburn City School District don't have to decide this week because there's been a change in plans. We want to talk more about that and welcome Joseph Shepard. We think we have him. Checking with my producer to see if he's connected now. We're having some technical issues, so let's uh, we'll move on and we'll hope to reconnect and establish a better connection with Joseph Shepard from the Auburn City School District. So we'll go on to reopening. I'm just told that we do have him. I apologize for that. So it's technology. We deal with that now, right? Joseph Shepard, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you've had a few issues with that as well. Yeah. Good evening. Right. How's it going? Thank you for joining us. And good evening. Thank we got a lot me. to talk about. Um, yeah, mm. first of all, let's get into what happened, a change of plans for Auburn City Schools. A plan just as early as last week, planning online, mm. and then now it's been switched. So what happened? So really we're still we are still going with a a hybrid model. Uh, what our plan currently is is to phase in to that hybrid model. So we put out an instructional preference survey uh, over the last week or two uh, with our families to, to see how many of our families wanted to be back into our buildings uh, utilizing the hybrid model or how many didn't feel like they were comfortable coming back. And we received a little over a thousand students who were choosing to participate in a fully remote learning model. So that was about a quarter of our student population. Um, so what we've decided to do is go with a phase in going uh, to it to phase in in three different phases to get up to a full hybrid model. Wow. Um, I, I, this one, I uh, just, sorry? I'm just curious about that number a thousand. Were you expecting that many to say no, no we want to keep our kids um, home? When we put out we put out a survey uh, in July to uh, we had a survey up on our website asking asking students and families to fill it out, uh, kind of what their preference is if they were comfortable returning to school. And in that, in that survey, which was a sampling of our community, we only, we were estimating around 300 students in total for the district that would, um, that would kind of opt, that would opt out, uh, which would have been uh, really, I think it would have been more than uh, doable to go with kind of running two concurrent models of a hybrid of a of an online school and then also a um an in-person school but yeah no we we were not expecting when we reached out to all of our families that we would be over a thousand students which is causing um, you to regroup now exactly yeah so that is definitely bit. causing us to regroup it would yeah. it, uh running two concurrent models um would having that many students almost a hundred and 60 in one of our elementary schools uh, who opted out uh, and, and trying to do a, a fully remote model for that large amount of students and meet their educational needs at the same time as our students in person uh, would be extremely expensive and extremely difficult. Yeah, I'm so, just curious, what were some of the health and safety concerns being expressed by parents um, and what are, they, what are you doing to address them? Uh, so, I mean, the health and safety concerns varied for, um, you know, ac across the board from some, some families were uncomfortable with wearing masks uh, in schools. Uh, some families felt like we weren't um, being proactive with a mask uh, mandate uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, some of them are worried about being in big groups. Some of them are worried about the social distancing on buses. Uh, and it, it kind of runs the full gamut of what all parents are are kind of feeling right now uh, with the with the decisions of to return to school to not return to school. Um, so there, and we also, I mean, we still have unanswered questions on, and our community has unanswered questions really about exactly how testing and contact tracing will work. Gotcha. A lot of a lot of uh, districts are struggling with that. How yeah. soon do you yeah. think you can bring the kids back into school? How long for the online learning? What what's so the plan? we're going to we're um, our kind of phased in reopening schedule. I mean it's still a it's still a schedule in in, in flux. Um, but what our hope is right now is that on September eighth and 9th would be kind of introductory days where students would be able to come and and pick up. Meet with their meet with their new teachers, 
get signed into their Google Classrooms, um, kind of talk about expectations, maybe a little bit of professional development for the parents on how to navigate Google Classroom because you know this has been new for parents as well, how, in, how to how to navigate all of these learning management softwares. Oh, yeah. um, so that would be kind of the first couple of days of school. They'd be introductory days. And then um, phase one would start September 10th, and that would be with our, with our uh, students who are in the 811 and 1211 programs. Uh, they would come to school on the, on the standard hybrid A, B, A, A day, B day schedule. Um, and then our students in the CTE programs or Compass programs or our day treatment programs would also attend. Uh, school based on their specific school's uh, schedule. And then we phase two would start September 28th and then we would start to see some of our elementary students return. Um, our uh, seventh grade students would come into that full hybrid schedule. Our eighth grade students um, would start to come in during phase three. Uh, our high school students, grade 11, 12. So, and then we're hoping to have the full hybrid schedule of all of our students fully implemented by October 13th. Right. So that would be all of our students who've opted into hybrid learning would be able to attend school on A day and B day schedules. And then at that time, there might be parents who, who originally requested that full remote learning model and who are now more comfortable when we get more answers. And then they, they'll be able to request to transfer into, a, into that full hybrid learning model. Right. So once they feel comfortable and have some of their questions answered. Joseph Shepard, I can't believe we're out of time because I had a ton more questions for you. We appreciate you taking time out to join us tonight and, and get no this problem. conversation going. And, and we need to keep it going because, you know, as you said, parents are really uh, have some tough decisions to make. And a, there's a lot a of uncertainty. Time. Yeah, it's a tough time. All right, Joseph Shepard, we appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Have a good night.